So now let's set up our models. So we're gonna go to the backend, create another folder. It's gonna be called models, and we're gonna create let's call it models. And then inside this, we're gonna have a model for the user. So and if you're wondering which is um, what is a model, so we have a database. We're gonna register a user to the database. So we're gonna have like a form, you know, of data for the user. Or like for example, the user have like a name, a username, an email. So we're gonna define this so the database know which type of data, which type of structure that we're gonna enter to our database. So this is really really interesting and also do some form of validation, and it's very very necessary to work with MongoDB. So we're gonna start by importing Mongoose this way and then we're going to create a schema a schema it defines the settings of all the structure of the user so we're going to have const you can call it whatever you want it doesn't matter use a schema and then we're going to go mongoose then schema and then inside the schema is going to be an object that has all the properties of the user first one is going to be first name and here we define the properties the type is going to be string so the form of uh, the first name is going to be string also it's going to be required so required true you can do it this way so the, the first name is necessary to have if you don't enter like a first name you're gonna get an error because it's required and then you can also like display the the message that you want to show so for example it's gonna be first name is required this is gonna be here okay also we need to trim it so trim true so if it have any spaces it's gonna remove them also we can move them also we're gonna use text to be true so we can use it to search so this is necessary if you want to search by text you uh, create a text you add this text true so you have the ability to search in the database using this property also we're going to copy this multiple times and let's go this is going to be last name and here is going to be last name is required same settings also we're going to have a username it's going to be the same thing so here username and also uh, we can use it to search also we have something else which is going to be unique so the username is going to be unique we can't have like two users have the same username so this is going to be unique also we're going to have after the username let me see we have the email and the email is going to be also required email is required also we need to trim it and also it's unique and let's remove the ability to search by email let me see what else we have we have the password so let me just copy this multiple times so password type is going to be string required password is required we're going to remove this trim we're not going to use it in the password because you can have like a spaces let me see what else we have okay this is the password after the password we have the picture and the picture is going to be type string it's not required we don't need this trim also we need something else which is going to be the default and the default is you define like a default value for the picture so you, like you don't need to add it yourself but it is going to be you know added by default which is going to be this picture i've already uploaded to cloudinary we're going to do i'm going to show you how to do this after but for now we're going to take the link of the picture so every user is going to have this as his default a picture normally without us adding it so we're going to also have cover and this is type string also the cover is not required and also you can i don't have problem with trim you know trim here doesn't affect anything because links you know of the cover of the picture don't have like spaces so if you add it even like it it doesn't you know create any problems so the thing let me see there's a lot of properties right here so just bear with me let me just copy let me remove this and this is going to be gender and also type string and it's going to be required gender is required and then it's going to be this way true also let's see what else we have after the gender we have the birthday year and it's going to be type number let me type number and it's going to be also required i'm not going to have like messages for them just going to be required also we can use trim no problem for this so now we're going to copy this so we have the birthday day year and we have the birthday month and also we have the birthday the birthday day so this is gonna be b month 
and this is gonna be B day. And also, if you use them like strings, I don't think it matters. It's not gonna be a problem. Let's also copy them. After the birthday, we're gonna have verified, which is if the um, the account is verified, it's gonna be type. Normally, it's gonna be boolean. Let's remove this trim, and it's gonna be. It's not gonna be required because by default we're gonna have a value for it. So default is gonna be false. So every account you create by default is gonna be not verified. And also let's see what else we can have. All right, so I wanna remove this. So, cause I wanna make sure that we use them properly. So we're gonna have friends, friends. Everyone writes this wrong the first time. So the type of friends is gonna be, the type is gonna be an array. And then the default is gonna be an empty array. So now this is the default, okay? Now we're gonna take this. Let me see how many we need. We have friends and then we have followers and following and requests. So one, two, three. So these are friends. Now we're gonna have the following, which is the people that you follow. The same thing. Also followers, the people that follows you. And also we're gonna have requests. So if you get like a, uh, a friend request, we're gonna have them right here. And also, so after this, we're gonna have search, which is gonna be the search history of the user. So everything the user search of, we're gonna register it right here. So it's gonna have an array of objects. So the first one is gonna be the user. With the type of the user is gonna be an object ID. An object ID means that we're gonna refresh something. So we can refresh like the user itself, so, and get the data from it. So for example, uh, let's get it right here. So we're gonna have mongoose dot schema and then your reference or object id and then here your reference which you know elements you wanna or which model you wanna reference to which is the, this is gonna be the same which is user you can have like another something else like post or whatever depending on your project or depending on your situation and this way we can go just unpopulate this so for example we're gonna go uh, we got this user so we're gonna go inside the search and inside the user and then we're gonna populate using the objects id so we can get all the informations of the user right here so we can go search dot user and dot any elements or any property property of the user and this way really cool to use you know references and it's a very cool feature also you can this structure right here so we can have only objects id right here and then go up top and then reference uh, then the structure it so we can go right here and then we're gonna have const object id and we're gonna get it from the same place mongoose dot schema and we can just use it directly so this is gonna be the search history and now one of the important things is gonna be details and here is gonna be an object of all the details of the user so we're gonna have bio first and the type of it is gonna be string okay and we can take this and now just copy it again and again because it's gonna have a lot of affirmations right here let's see so I don't make a mistake. So we have the bio and then it's going to be other name. After this, we have, let's see, job, work, place. Let's see what else. High school. And then we have college. There's a lot of typing, but we make sure that we have the best user experience so current city what else hometown this is the same data that facebook you know offer you we had bio okay bio other name job workplace high school college current city hometown let's see what else relationship and then we're gonna have at last instagram so you can link your instagram account so in the relationship is going to be type string but we're going to introduce something new which is enum and enum is something nice so you can define predefined values so you only allow these values to be you know the value of relationship which is going to be single which what you are probably now then we're going to have n a relationship okay and then we have married and then we have divorced 
or you can have player whatever you want so this enum is pretty cool so now the only value that the only you know uh, value that relationship can have is single or in a relationship or married or divorce if you added like a, a new value or a different value it's not that's not an enum it's just gonna get you an error so relation ship they always make typos just get used to it so you can also go for example in the gender and you can do it too so from the gender you can define like enum and define the genders that you want i'm not gonna do it because we have like a million gender right now so we have the freedom to use whatever they want so relationship so this is for the details let me see else what we else we have we have also saved post so you know this is a lot of work but just you know we're gonna make sure that we provide as i said the best experience so saved posts so this type of element like saved posts or like for example um search you can have like an own in you know, all model but i prefer just to use them right here so we can have like some advanced searching in the user to get this data so i want to use it so we're gonna have posts so this post that we're gonna save and the type is gonna be the same object id and then it's gonna reference this time it's gonna reference post which is we didn't create right now but we're gonna create later so now if we want to get you know the saved you know saved post from the user we can go to saved post and then dot post you know and you know map through them and then get their informations because we're using the object id so we can just populate and get them directly i'm going to show you everything later so also we can have saved ads so we can register the date that they save this post at so the type is date okay and then we're going to have a default value value because this is going to be entered by default which is going to be a new date okay and then we're gonna go right here so this place right here let me make sure that it is the one yes and then we're gonna have time steps so and then we're gonna have time steps so every time we you know we create a user it's gonna have this time step which is created ads and updated ads so whenever we create a user it's gonna have a property that's called created ad which has the date that the user been created at and also when updated it updates you know the date updated at so this is exactly what it does we can do time steps and then true so in this way we created our schema it took us a lot of time but we got there now we're gonna export it so model this exports export and then it's gonna equal mongoose and export it as a model so from mongo from mongodb and we're gonna name it user and this is like the name you use to uh, you know to reference by and then we're gonna pass the schema the schema which is the settings or the properties of the user which is gonna be user schema so we're gonna go right here and then just add it here we're gonna check if we have any errors so let's go to the back end and then npm run server see if everything was all right and as we see see the database everything is all right so let me make sure so if i made a mistake right here we're gonna see it uh, while working and i'm gonna fix it because this is a lot of informations you know you can write something or have some typos so this was for the user model so see you next